So I've done um, quite a few online courses, and I think in terms of preparation, it, firstly, it's, I find it very helpful to have the materials and the uh, details of the activities in advance. That doesn't mean to say I'm going to do all the readings or I'm going to, um, uh, you know, prepare myself very well for all the activities. But it's nice to know what's coming. Um, so that, I find that very helpful. I don't, the sort of surprise element, the sort of slow release. Um, I can understand that there may be reasons for doing that sometimes, um, but you know, as far as possible to have uh, details of particularly readings or, or lectures I'm going to have to watch in advance uh, is very helpful. Um, secondly, um, in terms of uh, pre-course socialisation uh, with the people I'm going to be expected to interact with in forums, I find you know, uh, it very useful if there's, uh, for example, a webinar at the beginning of the course that has no... Uh, focus in particular it might there might be a theme to discuss that's related to the course but you don't have to have read anything or you don't have to be to feel you're an expert in any way um, in the area so some some kind of activity where which is just really about getting to know a, a, an icebreaker um, if you like uh, so that's that's um, another thing that I, I find useful as a participant um, podcasts are great um, I don't think they have to be video I think audio is fine with a, a transcript um, uh, whereby uh, tutors or anybody else who um, has anything to do with the course uh, says a little bit about, but not necessarily about themselves, but perhaps what what's, what what you know what what interests them about the theme, um, or or ask some questions um, to sort of get us thinking. So um, I think that's about all. Um, diving straight in, I don't find that, I, I don't really like that. So if, um, without the pre-course socialisation, you go into a forum and suddenly you've got to interact with people you don't know. So I think it's just very similar to um, teaching face-to-face, -face, that it's, uh, um, we wouldn't go in uh, to a classroom and expect our students to suddenly start interacting with each other without um, any kind of icebreaker or, you know, find someone who type activity. Um, so, so if we can... Um, Create create similar conditions um, in online courses. I think I think uh, people are going to be, feel more more comfortable about interacting. Certainly, as a participant, um, I, I do.